Air traffic control will assign a pilot a hold when it is deemed necessary, which can be due to traffic congestion, an aircraft emergency, equipment outages, waiting for an expect further clearance time, if a pilot requires more time to make a decision, poor weather, or the unavailability of the runway. While training, an instructor or student may request a hold from air traffic control to simulate receiving hold clearances. If air traffic control wants a pilot to hold, they will first ask the pilot to advise when ready to copy hold instructions. When the pilot replies, ready to copy hold instructions, air traffic control will include the following information in the hold clearance. The direction of the hold, usually a cardinal heading such as north, south, east, or west, or intercardinal headings such as northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. The fix to hold at, this can be over a navigation aid, a specified waypoint, or the aircraft's current position. The radial or bearing to hold on. The radial is the outbound leg heading, and bearing two is the inbound leg heading. Direction of turn. Standard hold turn directions are to the right. If a turn direction is not mentioned, the pilot is expected to make right turns. If the hold's legs will be timed or use an assigned distance. If air traffic control does not include this detail, the pilot is expected to conduct timed holds based on their aircraft's altitude. One minute for legs under 14,000 feet mean sea level, and one and a half minute legs for above 14,000 feet mean sea level. And expect further clearance time, if necessary. If air traffic control assigns a published hold, they may say, hold as published, which means that the pilot is expected to conduct the hold as depicted on the en route chart or IAP. But air traffic control must give complete holding instructions if a pilot requests them. Upon receiving a hold clearance, the pilot is expected to fly directly to the assigned fix unless given other vectors to the fix. Slow the aircraft to the appropriate hold speed based on assigned altitude three minutes prior to reaching the fix. Conduct the most appropriate hold entry, notify air traffic control that they are established on the hold, and hold until air traffic control instructs the pilot to exit the hold and continue based on the next clearance given. Here are some examples of different holding clearances and the steps to properly identify key components of the hold. Example 1. If air traffic control tells a pilot flying at 4,000 feet mean sea level, EPIC 500. Hold north of Samira on the 360 radial. Expect further clearance at 1500 Zulu. The pilot knows from this clearance, the holding fix is Samira. The inbound leg heading is 180 degrees, the reciprocal of the radial. And the outbound leg heading is 360 degrees, the radial assigned by air traffic control. The hold turns are to the right because it was not mentioned in the clearance. The legs are timed for one minute since the aircraft is below 14,000 feet mean sea level, and the pilot should receive further clearance at 1500 Zulu. The pilot would write down and repeat the clearance to air traffic control, turn the aircraft directly to Samira, and when reaching Samira, enter the hold. Example 2. If air traffic control tells a pilot flying at 7,000 feet mean sea level, EPIC 500. Hold southwest of Barbs on the 210 radial. Left turns, two mile legs, expect further clearance at 1647 Zulu. The pilot knows from this clearance that the holding fix is Barbs. The inbound leg heading is 30 degrees, the reciprocal of the radial. And the outbound leg heading is 210 degrees, the radial assigned by air traffic control. The hold turns are to the left, the legs are two nautical miles long, and the pilot should receive further clearance at 1647 Zulu. The pilot would write down and repeat the clearance to air traffic control, turn the aircraft directly to barbs, and when reaching barbs, enter the hold. It is crucial that all pilots listen intently to what air traffic control is instructing them to do. As much of a formality as it is to repeat back the instructions, it also gives the pilot an opportunity to make sure that they understand what instructions they were given and where they are heading to next. Keep an eye out for a follow-up video where we show the process a pilot must follow every time they are assigned a hold. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content.
And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.